Well, the cattle are up, and I notice Blaze is acting a little stressed about feed time. The cattle do get up here, crowd them a little bit, uh, stick their nose in his water and whatnot. So uh, there's a little video here of clashing out just today against old Hank. And I saw a little nip on Hank uh, that I think is a bite, and we'll take a look at that in a minute some boundaries with this horse but i'll go ahead and feed them both and then we'll talk about uh poverty marks on a hoof is what i call them and how you can know if a horse has uh, maybe got some eating habits i do i got your food buddy you're all right and we go waiting for old hank i already got it measured out and everything where were you where you were you why i built roads huh so uh i didn't use the fork truck at all because um out of the way because I didn't need to move any timber or anything. I, I can't remember using a fork truck. The bucket on the front. And uh, I thought about getting uh, the teeth on the front. But the one complaint uh, people have is if the teeth aren't just right. Hey. When you're upset about food, you're not going to take it out on people. So that horse is an adopted horse to me. And if you look at their, their hooves, you'll see... Uh, You'll see that he was starved. It's called a poverty line in their hooves where uh, they were. So I've slowly getting Blaze around to, to not being so aggressive about food. He, but he thinks old Hank's to blame. But you see those striations in his hooves. Some of them are pronounced. That's where uh, a horse didn't get enough food and or water at some point in time. Anyway, he's up an hour early because the rain. And uh, he's all upset because... Uh, He's food aggressive because I'm not feeding him. But 11 o'clock is 11 o'clock. I can't have him, you know, mistaken time. Horses are smart. They know the time. Come on. So I got to stay on him about the food aggression. We're getting there on it. But that was good that y'all saw that. He's going to ride me uh, just like he did old, <laughs> old Hank. And I'll have to get rough on him because I don't allow uh, him to bully me. So he used to bite. So he doesn't anymore. He's learned that lesson. It's not all. It's not all just love it either. I, with a horse like that, you got to get strict. So, uh, but let me finish up my walk around of the tools. So, right here, I had the bucket, which I is <laughs> come on, Blaze, right? Uh, but I didn't get teeth for it, and I, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, so back to uh, Blaze's eating aggression, which is way better than it used to be. This little mark here on Hank that I'm treating and. Uh, I just use triple antibiotic. It looks a lot better. Keep the flies off. Uh, I suspect there's a possibility. It looks like a nip to me right there. And so, um, anyway, I did see Blaze lash out here just a minute ago, an uh, hour ago when they came up early. But I wanted to show y'all uh, poverty lines in a horse hoof so that you could see when you buy a horse, if they've been mistreated or not. So you see from here up that there, that there's a thicker layer of hoof. And from here down, you could see that his hoof is uh, shattered and splintered on all the hooves. There's a, a good poverty line right there. Uh, that means that he wasn't being fed right. So uh, he was held with a bunch of livestock when I got him, 25 sheep. Uh, three dogs in a pen. Uh, no, there was no fodder for him to eat. When he first stepped out of the thing, the first thing he did was, and it was a drought, grab a hand, mouthful of that dry, useless grass and just ate it. So there was, but where he was stored, there was no uh, fodder at all for him to eat. So <clears throat> here's the deal with kids, uh, uh, parents. These are good people, but I suspect that kids were saying to their mom, "Yeah, we fed them. Oh, yeah, we fed them." Uh, and I don't think that horse was getting fed on a regular basis. He was extremely food aggressive. And uh, he even came at me. Uh, I got He attacked my truck once when I called him up for oats uh, in order to, I, I don't know. He, anyway, he's a long way. He's a much better horse. Rotate. Um, <clears throat> when he has the cattle up, the head tossing, and he's just full of it right now. Uh, they're stressing him, but I, I need him to be, uh, um, you know, able to work with that. But this this poverty line right there, y'all can see that real easy. You can see where I've gotten the horse and the hooves are getting healthier. And then that line, that ridge where he wasn't fed. And 
and put in addition the ends of them as hoofs. Now you all saw I was able to pick those feet up and trim them and get rid of a lot of the bad. So he's come a long way. <laughs> I don't handle that hard part of the horse at all. And on today, reading a horse, I would not work with him today because all I'm going to do is get failure. Uh, he came at Hank. He's been pushing me around. He's stressed about the cattle. You know, uh, there's another day for me to do that kind of work. But there you go. Now you know how to spot a little bit of uh, deprivation on a horse. And if you go to buy them, if you go to buy them and you see those uh, poverty lines on a hoof, very pronounced ones, you'll know that something was up and uh, he might have food or water uh, issues if indeed that's what was causing those lines. A little bit of styration is normal. You know, what they eat in the field and flowers bloom and they get a different nutritional value. But when they're thick like that and pronounced, uh, it usually means uh, food and water. They're deprived food and water. Um, anyway, so we'll work on Hank a different uh, blaze on a different day. Uh, keep in mind, whenever Blaze doesn't get what he wants, he takes it out on old Hank as if it's his fault. And sometimes Blaze is wrong. He was wrong. He came up an hour early today because uh, of storms blowing in and he thought it was uh, food time. Yeah, it's not food time at all. But he's a good horse. There's a good horse in there. I don't resent him uh, at all. Um, I'm learning him. Um, but uh, he's a good horse. He's a sweet horse, inquisitive. Just this food thing has made him a little insane. So, can't work with crazy. <laughs> you really can't. <laughs> and that horse has got a little smidgen of insanity in him over food. But uh, maybe down through the years, I could heal that out of him. We'll see.